these 3.5 millimeter female stereo jack to a male ethernet adapters easily convert any ethernet jack to a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. It's real easy to install the Sewell Blast IR extender kit when you make a set of these. When these adapters are used with the Sewell Blast IR extender kit, I can send my IR signal over any ethernet wire to my network AV closet. For this project, you will need two modules, which are also known as keystones, that are stereo audio 3.5 millimeter. 3.5 millimeter is the same thing as an eighth inch. But you will need two of these modules and one patch cord. I've made my own keystones with soldering all the wires on a little component and inserting it. But this is by far the easiest product to use, these little modules with this type of spring termination. Get a patch cord, cut the plug off, the plugs off of each end, keeping about seven inches of the cord with the plug. Strip the jacket off of the cord. Separate out the solid colored orange, green, and blue wires. Take their striped counterparts and then the, the brown and the brown white wire and twist those together and put them out of the way. We won't need those. Now out of the three wires we're keeping and going to use, the orange, green, and blue, we're going to strip about three-eighths of an inch of the insulation off of each of those. Because this is a patch cord, the strands, the wire is stranded, not solid, so we're going to twist the strands together. These are my wires before they're tinned. The tinning is optional. You can see the tinning the ends video to learn how. But tinning the ends of the wires makes them easier to insert in the terminals. Then insert the orange wire in the terminal marked positive. Insert the green in the terminal marked negative or ground. Insert the blue wire in the terminal marked S. That's it. You make two adapters and you plug them into each end of an Ethernet to convert it to a 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. The word stereo means there's three conductors. Because the Sewell Blast IR, IR receiver that attaches at the television, the end of the cord is a stereo plug, we need a stereo jack to receive it.